Yo, what's up guys? It's been a while. I want to talk to you today about exponential growth and social distancing and the importance of doing that. Um, so I guess let's talk about those two different things and how they're interrelated. First of all, exponential growth is how things grow exponentially. And social distancing is what people are starting to talk about on social media. We'll hear uh, the president talk about it. Um, and it's about basically staying away from people. And I'm going to talk about why that's important. So let's first talk about what exponential growth is. A lot of people um, don't understand exponential growth. They think if something doubles 10 times, like if I put some money on a game and I doubled my money 10 times, how much more money do I have? Well, they think, well, you have 10 times as much. No. If you double something 10 times, it's not times 10, it's times 2, 10 times. So you take that number and you multiply it by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2. 10 times, and that's how much you got. So we're gonna start by looking at what happens if I start with the number one and I double it 10 times. You may be surprised. So I take the number one, I double it, double two to four, and four is eight, and eight is 16, and 16 is 32, and 32 is 64, and 128, and 128, 256, and 256 is 512, 1024. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten doublings. So if you double something ten times, guess what? You got a thousand times more than you started with. And this is interesting uh, as far as the coronavirus goes, because right now we've got a thousand cases or something in the United States, which means we started since the first person got it, it's We've gone through about 10 doublings. And if you're wondering, well, what do we mean by that? It means hey, we've had 10 doublings since it started, and it started about two months ago, right? It's about 60 days. And if we had 10 doublings over 60 days, it's been doubling every six days. And that's what exponential growth is. It's something that grows the same percent over the same amount of time. So they all have a set doubling time. Right? So it'll double every six days, regardless of how much there are today. Six days now, there'll be twice as many. And it doesn't seem like a ton, but it's not what happens about these 10 doublings. We'll look at the next couple 10 doublings, right? Because if this happened every six days, we'll round it to about a week, right? So maybe it's been about, it's been about uh, 10, we'll say 10 weeks, just for argument's sake. The next 10 weeks, it's going to double 10 more times. You know what that means? That means it's going to be a thousand times more, a thousand times more this. Like if I started at five and I doubled it 10 times, I'd end up with 5,000. If I started with six and doubled it 10 times, I'd end up with 6,000. Well, if I started at a thousand, where we are right now, and double it 10 times, I'm at a thousand thousand, which is a million. And now if you're thinking, oh, a million, there's 300 million people, that's not much out of three. No, well, you know, there's 300 million, so it's less than 1%. It's about a third of a percent. But the next 10 weeks, it's going to go up double 10 more times. It's going to go up a thousand more. And a thousand millions is a billion. Now, I know it doesn't quite grow like that because some people get better and then there's different periods. It's not exactly how things grow. But just to understand the math of exponential growth, it's not the beginning that's weird. It's the end that we had compound interest, right? And I'm going to show it to you graphically. And if for some reason you're thinking, well, a thousand times more, is that really that? Is that really that much more? Well, if you know someone who's like 5'2", a thousand of them is a mile tall. It's, it's a way more. Okay? Think about that. Now, graphically, just to think about this graphically, we'll look at a couple different cases why social distance is important. Social distance is just staying further away from people than we usually do. The virus spreads by people being close to each other socially. We, through our, what we're exhaling, like just your breath, right? What uh, other things, right? So that, that's what comes out, right, is, is, is the virus, right? When you sneeze and cough, so cough deep into your arm, right? You cough here, don't uh, all over everybody, right? But it spreads through social contact. So we're going to look at some cases of when we change our social contact and how we are around each other and how we interact, we're going to knock this thing down a little bit, right? So if you look at something along a timeline, so if I go along some timeline like this, and we start at like that much, and we double it every amount at this certain time, then, okay, that, that, it's about twice the height, and then I get to here, it's about twice that height, and I get to here, okay, it's about twice that height, doo -doo. and then here, notice, twice that height, whoa, and then here, it's twice that, whoa, oh my goodness, twice that height is like one of these and another one, twice this height 
is well all the way all the way through way up 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 right so it's not these ones this is where we are right now so when people are like well the flu there's been so many cases of the flu yeah that's because this just started right so this is the pace we're on right now woo now that's not good it's not good for our healthcare system we've got to slow it down so social distancing is how we're going to slow it down now this thing's doubling itself we'll say every every six days or so right there that's probably a better curve um every six days or so so suppose we want to instead of having double every six days we want it to wait 12 days before it doubles well in order to slow it down by half as much you actually have to come into everyone we have to agree let's come into contact with half as many people and that has a huge impact because instead of going from here to here there it doesn't get to this height until over here is where it doubles and then this doesn't double till twice as long later then it's double there notice this guy doubles here and this guy waits to double to here whoa and then you're on path two whoa and that's if we can slow look at the difference down here it's insane and that's if we can slow it down to half its transmission rate right now now suppose instead you're going to talk like one third of the people now, i know it's not exactly like this but like one third of the people that you talk to now it's going to break it down even more so suppose it took three weeks th three times as long to double whoa so instead of doubling from here to here or, the, or here to here it waits till it gets to here and then it takes one two three to get to, whoa look at this Ooh. now that's the curve i'm looking for so how do you do it stay away from other people seriously no touching don't touch people no kissing no hugging no high fives just like you can go like this, you can go like this, you can go ee, but don't touch other people. Don't hug your grandmother, okay? Tell your granny, I'm sorry, Grammy, I can't hug you till 2022, okay? It's going to be a couple of years. If you're planning some big gatherings, don't, right? If you have a big, big dinner planned this Sunday for, or whatever, for St. Patrick's Day, postpone it for a year, like do it next year. It'll be so much better, right? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Um, stay away from people. Any places crowded, stay away. When you're in line around other human beings, stay a few meters away from them. Try to cut down on traveling or going places just to go them, okay? Not the time of, to, to go do it. And we're not doing it just for you. This isn't about you. This is about all of us, okay? All of us. It's about our parents, our grandparents, our teachers, our, 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 our police, our fire, our doctors, our neighbors, our grandparents, or the elderly, the guy down the street that you like, you say wave to him when he's mowing his lawn, all right? Their health depends on it, all right? So this is really important. So you can do the job. The job is this, right? Stop hanging out with a bunch of people. Stay away from people for about a year or so, okay? Or until we get this vaccine. People's lives depend on it, all right? So again, social distancing can turn this into this. And what's wrong with that? Our healthcare system can't handle that, all right? So please, if we can slow it down, by the time the few people that are leaving the hospital because they're getting better, new people will come in and then we won't be overrun with sick people and our hospitals won't be, we'll be able to help other people outside of COVID-19 people. Um, like if you have a heart attack, you can get treatment because there's room in the hospital. So that's important, all right? So please take care of yourself, distance yourself from as many people as you can and postpone that party, all right? Thanks for listening and please be a good neighbor.